Hello, and welcome to another pension guide from Penfold. My name is Lily, and in this video, I'll be walking you through what to do with your pension when you retire. We'll cover all your options for accessing your money, how it all works, and a few things to watch out for. Let's get started. You can start to take money out of your workplace or private pension when you reach retirement age. Today, the legal retirement age is 55, although that's scheduled to rise to 57 in 2028. Legally speaking, you can access the money in your pension before you're 55, but you'll end up incurring a very steep 55% tax charge, taking a big chunk out of any growth in tax relief you've earned so far. The only exception to this rule is if you are seriously ill and no longer able to work. If you pass away before you access your pension, your entire pot will be passed on to your nominated beneficiary, tax-free. Of course, before you make any decision about withdrawing from your pot, you'll need to think about what you want from your retirement. The first step is to make a plan. Okay, you're ready to retire. How do you get started? Most of us have been paying into our pension for years, but when it comes to taking our savings back out, the options can be overwhelming. Here are the three things you'll need to think about first. One, how much will you need? Two, how much have you saved? Three, are you eligible for the state pension? Your first step in planning your future is working out how much you'll need to support your retirement. By planning how much you'll need for essentials like groceries and bills, as well as a few luxuries like a new car or trips abroad, you can make sure you'll have enough income each year. It's also important not to underestimate how many years you'll need your pension to support you. Hopefully, you've got 20 or 30 years of retirement to enjoy, so it's vital that your pot doesn't leave you shortchanged should you live for a long time. To do this, you'll also want to get a clear picture of how much you've saved to date. It's a good idea to begin with how much your pension is worth today. Unfortunately, this can be trickier than it first appears. You'll need a good idea of what's happening with all your pensions. That means your current pot and other pots you have scattered around from previous jobs. This may involve a bit of admin, like getting in touch with old pension providers for an up-to-date figure. While it can be time consuming, it is absolutely vital for forecasting your retirement. As an aside, Penfold savers can easily check the total value of their pot at any time from our online dashboard or app. Finally, don't forget about the state pension. The state pension is a regular payment from the government to you, available when you reach state pension age, currently 66, but scheduled to rise in the coming years. Everyone in the UK is entitled to receive a state pension, although you need to have made national insurance contributions throughout your life to qualify. You need to have a minimum of 10 years of national insurance contributions on record to qualify for the minimum state pension. To receive the full amount, you need 35 years. Okay, now we have a clearer idea of what our pension will look like in the future, let's talk about withdrawing your savings. You can withdraw 25% of your pension completely tax-free. You can then use this money however you like and access the rest of your pot in a few different ways with your subsequent withdrawals being taxed as income. This means you'll pay income tax on every withdrawal at your marginal rate. Between £12,570 and £50,270 a year will be taxed at 20%. Withdrawals above this will be taxed at 40%, and so on. Remember, you'll be liable for income tax on the total income for the year, not just your pension withdrawals. So if you have any other sources of income, like a state pension, this will also affect how much tax you pay. This is why it's so important to only withdraw what you need each year. Take any more out, and you could be paying more tax than you need to. Next, Let's take a look at the different ways you can move money from your pension into your pocket. Once you've reached retirement age, there are four main ways you can access your savings. Take out your entire pension pot. Take out part of your pension as a lump sum. Take out a portion each year. This is known as drawdown. Or buy an annuity. There's also a fifth option. If you don't need to take an income from your pension, you can simply leave your pot invested. Keeping even a portion of your money invested in your pension can help combat inflation, safeguarding the real value of your money as the costs of goods and services rise over time. You can also continue to pay into your pension. Just be aware that you will trigger the money purchase pension allowance. 
This allowance caps how much tax relief you can get from your pension once you've started to withdraw. From that point, you'll only be able to contribute £3,200 a year while still qualifying for a tax top-up. Next, let's look at those withdrawal options in a bit more detail. One of the more straightforward ways to access your pension savings is by withdrawing your pot as one big cash lump sum. However, depending on the size of your pot, you may have to pay a lot back in tax. You'll get the first 25% as a tax-free lump sum, but you will need to pay tax on the remaining 75% as part of your annual income. This can move you into the higher or additional rate tax band. You may also have to pay emergency tax on your payment, but you should be able to claim this back from HMRC. You can also leave your money invested and withdraw smaller cash lump sums as and when you like. This has the positively charming name Uncrystallized Funds Pension Lump Sum. The first 25% of each amount you take will usually be tax-free, but the rest may be taxed as income depending on your circumstances. The remainder of your pension pot will be left invested and therefore has the chance to grow, but there is also a risk it could go down in value. If you choose this option, you may wish to spread your withdrawals over different tax years to minimise the tax you pay. Income drawdown, sometimes called pension drawdown, is where you leave your pension invested and take regular payments from your pot over time. With drawdown, you can usually take up to 25% of your pension pot as tax-free cash and leave the rest invested to provide a regular income and occasional lump sums if required. Apart from your initial tax-free cash, every withdrawal you make will be subject to income tax. You can change or stop the amount you're taking at any time. Remember, if your pension pot remains invested, it has the chance to grow, but it could go down in value too. If you withdraw too much, or your pension fund doesn't perform as well as you'd expected, you could run out of money to fund your retirement. An annuity is essentially a financial product you buy from an insurance company using your pension. An annuity provides guaranteed regular income that pays out for a fixed period or until you die. You can take up to 25% of your pension pot as tax-free cash and use the rest to buy the annuity. There are a number of features you can include, such as requesting payments that increase in line with inflation or arranging for payments to continue to your dependents after your death. Smokers and those in poor health may be able to get a better income due to a shorter life expectancy. The payments you receive will be subject to income tax. Penfold makes withdrawing your pension simple, so you can start your retirement the right way. Access your savings online from age 55 and combine all your pensions into one app and access your savings with a tap. We'll process the withdrawal for you and everything you need is available online. No paperwork required. We can even put you in touch with an independent financial advisor who can walk you through the process step by step. To find out more, head to getpenfold.com today.